Uh, good morning. Uh, welcome to this devotion. As you can see around me, it is a beautiful summer's morning here in KZN. And we have our hot days, and uncomfortable as they are, we have these beautiful mornings that are absolutely, absolutely sublime. I was sitting out here one morning as beautiful as this, and my mind was just drifting into different thoughts. And you would think with so much beauty and stillness and calmness around me that there would be all these beautiful positive thoughts. But oh no, not mine. Mine went in a different direction. I'm not sure why I was being that cynical that morning, but, but you know, I was thinking, I was thinking about how the church has made some buttes in the past, some really big mistakes. And as much as I, I love the church, and let's make that very clear, I'd really, I really love the church, we have made some spectacular mistakes in the past. And I was sitting here wondering what on earth the next mistake would be. Um, like I said, I, I, I'm not sure why I was being this cynical, whether I'd gotten off the wrong side of the bed, or what the problem was. Um, but I think, and I believe one of the the big mistakes the church is going to make in the future, and as some churches already are making the mistake, is that we're going to promote this lifestyle of comfort, you know, this, this, this utopia on earth. We, we can, we, you know, we want to promote things like white picket fences, you know, and every person must have a car and a smart TV and uncapped Wi-Fi, you know what I mean. Um, we want everyone to have as much entertainment as their heart desires. The, the problem I have is that, that the church is going into a place where we would want every right and every freedom to pro be protected no matter the cost. We, we, we would want every couple to have 2.4 children. We, want, we would want all our, our national sports teams to win every time, you know, with honor and dignity and all those things. We, we would want a society and we, we would want to offer a religion that, that doesn't offend anyone. You know, we want everyone to come to church at 9 o'clock on a Sunday. We, we would want to avoid being offensive. And the problem with avoiding being offensive and promoting a lifestyle of comfort is that we would not preach sin. We, we would not preach about Jesus being crucified. And that, I believe, is where we are heading, with, where we would make one of the big mistakes in the future, is that, that we would want to offer a religion into this world that is not offensive. Well, as I was sitting here, the mosquitoes had a field day with me. So I got out of there and went back inside. Um, it's, but anyway, my, my biggest worry is that in the workplace, when you and I are in the workplace, people, instead of seeing us as followers of Jesus, outspoken for, for, for society and outspoken for the, for the people on the fringes, we would be seen like everyone else. My fear is that society would see us as good citizens, you know, people that, that don't cause trouble. And we should be those people that point out trouble. We should be those people that point out inequalities. We should be those people that side with the poor. We should be those ones that are always shouting for those that are unloved. We should be seen as offensive. We should be seen as those pursuing a lifestyle where comfort is less important than the comfort of people around us. The way, way my comfort would be sacrificed for the comfort of the person next to me. I honestly hope that, that each of us, when we go to church and, and when we follow Jesus, that we become and we're seen as advocates. We're seen as those who are more concerned about the comfort of people around us than our own comfort. I, I hope that I'm wrong. <laughs> I hope that every Christian does not rush off to seek utopia, but rushes off to seek utopia for the person next to him, for the people around us. May your day be filled with love for people around you. Until we meet again, God bless.